Do you know who she is? She is my melody from Sanrio character. She is, she is very cute. And she will going to read the book with me. The book is Geronimo Stilton Christmas Catastrophe. Let's get started. Relax, it's just a little sur surgery. The doctor took me to another room to prepare me for surgery. A nice nurse softly whispered, Good morning, I'm Corky Corrette Mouse, the head nurse here. She gave me a kind smile. You have nothing to worry about, Mr. Sultan. Dr. Swift, Swift Foss is a top-notch surgeon. This is your chart. It has all the important information about your checkup. Medicine you need to take. That nurse Karen Mouse was so nice. I wish I could have stayed here. They're with her. Before, but before I knew, they took me away on journey. Journey. I ended up in a room with a bright white light overhead. An army of doctors and nurses dressed in a green surrounded me. They wore masks over their snouts. I could feel the panic spreading through my fur. Help! The head surgeon winked at me. Don't worry, you're in good pause. Everything is under control. All the nurses work together. Everything is under control. The anesthesiologist came toward me with a big needle. If I had been able to move a single muscle, I would have covered in fear. But I couldn't. I tried to be brave. The anesthesiologist gave me a warm smile. Who works in hospitals? Every every department in hospital has someone in charge. For example, the chief of surgery is re responsible for all the doctors who specialize in a spe specific areas of surgery. When they began their careers, they met many doctors take the Hippogra Hippocratic oath in which they promise to practice their profession ethically. ethically. Hippocrates was a Greek doctor who lived more than 2,000 years ago. He is considered to be the father of modern medicine. Nurses are responsible for the day-to-day -day treatment and care of their patients. They give injections, dispense medicines, and take patients' blood pressure and temperature. Some nurses specialize in specific areas like children's medicine. The head nurse is responsible for the all nurses in the unit. Surgeons are doctors who specialize in surgery. They operate on patients to help cure their illnesses and injuries. They work closely with a team of the specialized colleges, like an nurse Anesthesiologists. Surgeons operate in operating rooms. The operation can be long and complicated or short and simple. Anesthesiologists are doctors who put patients to sleep with anesthesia before surgery. Anesthesia comes from the Greek word anesthesia. Before surgery, anesthesia, which means incentive, general anesthesia makes a patient fall asleep completely, while local anesthesia makes only certain parts of the body intensive to feeling. Insensitive to feeling. There are lots of other people in hospital who do not care of patients, but without them, the hospital would be unable to function. For example, there are cleaning people's cooks, administrative personnel, and lots and lots of others. Don't you worry, Mr. Sultan, I'm giving you an anesthesia. You'll g feel a little pinch and then you won't feel any pain at all. He was right, the injection hurt for a second and then the pain was gone. I need you to start counting backward from 10. The anesthesiologist continued. That way, I'll know when you fall asleep. I began to count 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 
and before I knew it, I was out, completely out. While I was unconscious, 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 the surgeon separated on me, operated on me. I didn't feel a thing. When I woke up, I was in recovery room. There was a sheet tucked tightly under my snout. And around me were lots of familiar faces. Hi, little brother. My dear nephew. Hi, Geronimo. Hi. We're all rooting for you. Snout up, Geronimo. What a big deal. Over nothing. I, woke, I was completely bandaged from the tip of my whiskers to the tip of my tail. I felt like a mummy. But there was no time to think about that because all of my friends and family had come to see me. They were gathered around my bed asking questions a mile a minute. How are you feeling, little brother? Squeaked Thea. We bought the poster that we made just for you. Benjamin and Boxy Boxy cried. Can I fix your pillows? Whispered Aunt Swiffer. Of course, my trap. Cousin Trap was jealous of all the attention I was getting. Hmm, what a big fuss over a couple little bones. Yum! This chocolates are delicious. That's right, he was eating the chocolates my friends had brought me. That mouse had no shame. Chocolates, I whispered, still groggy. Who brought those? Pinkie Pig said happily, We did, boss. All of your friends at the Rodin's Gazette. At that moment, Grand Grandfather William threw open the door. How are you doing, Grandson? When will you come back? When will, you, when will you be back at work tonight, tomorrow morning? Why don't you bring? Why don't I bring in your laptop so you can start writing about this little adventure, Grandfather? I can't write. I protested. I'm all bandaged up. I'm including my paws. Grandfather William snorted. What a big deal over nothing. My friend Petunia Pretty Paws gave me a little smooch on the tip of my snout. I'm sure you'll feel feel better, Sanji. All of my friends exclaimed, We love you, Geronimo, the Hercule Poirot Rats even told me a joke to cheer me up. Doctor, my legs keep falling asleep. Don't worry, that's nothing serious. That's what, that's what you think, my legs snores. I laughed so hard it hurt. Then, one by one, all of my friends and relatives said their goodbyes and left. Soon I was all alone in my room. At first I was sad, but then I feel my eyelids started to droop. I don't think I'd ever been so tired in my whole life. Before I knew it, I had drifted up to sleep. I rode into all dressed in white. The next morning, I woke up with a start. For a moment, I forgot where I was and what had happened to me. Then the rodent, all dressed in white, came into my room. She adjusted my covers and said, My name is Arushla. I'll be your nurse for the rest of the day. She brought me a glass of orange juice. Drink it down. It has lots of vit vitamin C. It's good for you. But I can't do anything by myself. I squeaked in for test. I can't even blow my snout. Arshla. First name, Arshla. Last name, Small Rat. Who she is. A nurse assisting Geronimo in the hospital. Her secret. She can give shots without hurting the patient even li a little bit. Her hobby, reading pottery. Archula opened the window, and a ray of sun shone into the room. It reflected off the glass on, the, on my bedside table and formed a rainbow on the wall. Archula smiled. Don't worry, everything will be just fine. I gave her a little smile back. It was hard to stay grumpy around such a cheerful mouse. And after, in the afternoon, another... Rodent dressed in white came into my room. She was just as cheerful as Arshula. I'm Mouse Anna. Please don't look so sad, Mr. Sultan. So will be friends. She gave me a bright, bright smile. Now, can I do anything for you? Do you want your sheets tucked in? I shook my snout. How about another pillow? I shook my snout again and wanted want the TV on. Do you like listening to the radio? Care to read a book? Need a glass of water? No, 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 no. How about I f if I fix you a cheese snack? Did someone say cheese? That made me brighten right up. Well, actually, I love some cheese. Mousina fixed me one of her special snacks. A sandwich stuffed with mozzarella. Mousina. First name, Mousina. Last name, Mousardi. Who she is. A nurse who helps Geronimo in the hospital. Her secret. 
She always smiles at everyone and tells very funny jokes. Her hobby. She fixes great snacks. After I finished eating the super mega extra cheesy sandwich, I immediately felt better. But I also felt a touch of sadness. I thought about all the hours and days and weeks I had to spend in the hospital. I miss my office at the Rodin's Gazette and all my friends and family back in New Mouth City. I, I even miss my cousin Trap. Now Santa says happily. Keep your snout up, Geronimo. You'll get better, I promise. She winked at me. I'm known for yummy snacks and silly jokes, so here goes. She began to tell me, telling me so many jokes that I laughed until tears ran down my fur. And um, I found that laughter made me feel a whole lot better. One of Mausana's famous snacks: a mozzarella cheese sandwich. Ingredients: one roll, two leaf lettuce washed, three slices of tomato washed. Three slices of mozzarella cheese. Ask an adult to cut the roll in half. Place one lettuce leaf and one half of roll. Add a few slices of tomato and a slice of mozzarella. Alternate adding tomato and mozzarella until you've placed three layers of each on the sandwich. Finish by placing the second lettuce leaf on top of the mozzarella. Put a, put another half other half on the roll. Of the roll, on the very top of the sandwich, taste and smile. Happy snacking. How are you doing, buddy? The next morning, Masina announced it. I've got great news. There aren't any more empty rooms in the hospital, so you'll have sharing your rooms with two other patients who will need surgery. You won't be lonely anymore. Aren't you excited? I gulped. Sure, I miss having my friends and family around, but that was different than sharing a room with two strange smells. What if I so? What if they snore or smelled like sour cheese? Or talked nonstop? I was just starting to enjoy the peace and quiet. Actually, I think I would prefer having the room to myself. I began. I didn't get the chance to finish my sentence before a light fairy to mouse rat wearing a yellow hat burst into my room. He greeted me and enthusiastically. Enthusiastically, I'm Ratty Ski Mouse. How are you doing, buddy? He talked nonstop. He talked nonstop. I couldn't have gotten a squeak in edgewise. Even I tried. After an hour, I、uh, I knew all about ready. His favorite skill, skill slow, favorite foods, the names of every single friend he has had since elementary school, and last but not least, why he was in the hospital. He were he was here to have his appendix removed. He explained. That the appendix is is an organ near your intestines. Reddy's appendix was inflamed, so surgeons are going to take it out. He had a tummy ache, but that didn't stop him from being chatty. When my second roommate came in, Reddy greeted him cheerfully. "How are you doing, pal?" "Good morning." I said to the new mouse and gave him a warm smile. But our new roommate did not answer either of us. He climbed into the bed. Burrowed under the covers and pulled the sheets over his mouth. From the tag on the suitcase, I saw that his name was Sammy Shirat. Once he realized that our new roommate was not going to respond, Reddy turned back to, to me and started chatting again. He told me that because of his appendix, they had put on it. I put him on a diet, and he couldn't wait to eat lasag lasagna with extra cheese, of course. Then he abruptly changed the subject and asked if I knew the joke about cold-blooded cats. I chuckled and rolled my eyes. Sammy stayed hidden under the covers, but I could tell. He was listening. He was his whiskers were quivering with laughter. Why do cats prefer to stay indoors in winter? In the winter, because outside is dark, dark and cold. 
Don't be afraid. The next morning, the sun was shining brightly. It looked like a perfect day for skiing. I sighed. I still wasn't sure how much longer I'd be in the hospital. But Santa helped me wash up while already read the newspaper. After that, the orderly, orderly brought our basket, breakfast. But Santa still hadn't gotten up. He didn't seem want to eat at all. He was hiding under the covers with the sheets pulled out all the way to the tip of his mouth. Sammy, aren't you getting up? Ready? Ready asked him. But Sammy didn't answer. The sheets began to shake, and I knew he was crying. Ready went over and tried to comfort him. But Sammy didn't answer. He pulled the sheets down under his chin as big wet tears streamed down his mouth. He looked as miserable as a restaurant rat who to miss New Mall City and New She's clear and seal. I'm I'm so afraid. This is the first time I ever been in the hospital. He squeaked quietly. The doctor here are wonderful and the nurses are so c- caring. Ready, research him. You'll see. Everything will be just fine. Why do you need to have an operation? I asked Cammy. Sammy, I'm going to have my appendix removed, he whispered, how about that, I'm going to have my appendix taken out too, Reddy cried, Sammy dried his tears and sniffed, really, yes, but I'm not afraid, Reddy sat, smiling, we're so lucky to be in a hospital where there are doctors help, doctors to help us, do you have, do you have any idea how many residents there are there that are sick and don't have the hospital to go to? If only all my were as fortunate as we are. I was surprised. I never have expected a chatty joke loving mouse like Reddy to have such an insightful sight. It just goes to show that you can't judge a mouse by a color of his fur. Sammy smiled dryly. I'm glad to be in the hospital. I know the doctors and nurses will help me get better. Then he sighed deeply. But I have a terrible, such a terrible tummy ache. Ready burst out laughing. I've got a terrible tummy ache too because of my append- appendix. But tomorrow, up. A surgeon will remove my... Many rodents around the world don't live near the hospital. Geronimo's tips for staying in the hospital. So you won't you won't be afraid. First, you don't have to be alone in the hospital. Your family and friends can come and keep you company. Second, don't be afraid of doctors and nurses. So they only want you to feel good and get better quickly. Third, in the hospital there are other patients that you can play with making friends which help pass the time more quickly. Fourth, bring your favorite toy or game or a good book or your favorite favorite pajamas. Anything that will help you feel more at home. Fifth, Remember, the hardest part will be over soon. You'll be back home to home in no time. Appendix, and then it won't hurt a bit. And the same goes for you. We'll scamper around like young mouselets, and we won't have to be on the diet anymore. Sammy licked his whiskers. You're right. I can't wait to eat an extra cheese pizza. Thank you for watching and please subscribe my channel. Bye!